Shakari Richardson calls meeting to stop athletes' exploitation in the U.S. Welcome back to the channel. Sprint sensation Shakari Richardson is on a mission to stop the exploitation of athletes, especially in the U.S. Richardson, who will be competing at the U.S. trials from July 5th to 9th in a bid to make the team to the World Championships to Budapest, released an Instagram video proposing a strategic meeting. The meeting will be between athletes, especially those coming for the trials, and discuss major decisions made on their behalf without athletes having a say. She took to Instagram saying, If you as an athlete have an issue with the things that are going on within track and field in the United States, the changes that are going on, the decisions that are being made, everything that we as athletes has no say on, she said. Not knowing who to turn, not knowing who to complain to, I just want to drop a link for an idea for all of us to come together and actually sit down, and actually come up with a strategy as athletes to create a voice for ourselves and create an actual organization to what we know that is going to impact and build us as athletes and to build our sport in the United States and not just continue to exploit us. Her initiative comes from a series of complaints and controversies surrounding the trials, as athletes have been complaining about the sudden increase in the cost of flight tickets, accommodation, feeding, transportation in Oregon. There are also reports that Nike had a contract agreement with USA Track Field, use it that senior athletics championships will always take place in Oregon, without the knowledge or consulting the athletes and the accessibility slash high cost of living of the state for travelers. Shakari Richardson, began her 2023 season with a remarkable performance that caught the attention of the sports world. On April 8, 2023, at the Miramar Invitational, Richardson won her first race of the season with an official time of 10.57 seconds in the 100-meter sprint. This outstanding achievement places her in the history books, as it is the third fastest 100-meter finish in all-time conditions, with Elaine Thompson-Hara and Florence Griffith Joyner holding the top two spots respectively. Richardson's victory in the Miramar Invitational showcased her dominance and set high expectations for the remainder of her season. This race marked her first solo competition for the season, following her participation in the 4 by 100 meter relay at the Texas Relays the previous weekend, where her team finished second. After missing the Tokyo Olympics in 2021 due to a suspension resulting from a failed drug test, Richardson was determined to make a strong comeback in 2023. The 23-year-old sprinter's performance in the 2023 season opener not only impressed with her speed but also demonstrated her resilience and determination. Richardson's journey has not been without obstacles. In 2021, her 100-meter win at the U.S. Olympic trials was negated when she failed a drug test for using marijuana, which is prohibited for athletes. She explained that she used marijuana for her mental health as she mourned the death of her biological mother. Consequently, she missed out on the opportunity to compete in the Tokyo Olympics and the 2022 World Athletics Championships. Despite facing setbacks, Richardson has remained focused on her goals and continued to train hard. Her record-setting performance in the 2023 season opener indicates her readiness to make a mark in the world of athletics. Running under 11 seconds twice in her second 100-meter meet of the season, Richardson showcased her speed and reaffirmed her status as a top contender. Her time of 10.57 seconds, although wind-assisted, ranks as the fourth-best women's 100-meter performance ever in all conditions. Apart from her athletic abilities, Richardson's fierce confidence and vibrant personality have garnered her a significant following on social media. With over 2 million Instagram followers and half a million on Twitter, she has become one of the most popular track and field athletes. Her online presence and fan base not only reflect her on-track success but also contribute to the visibility and popularity of women's sprint. As the 2023 season progresses, expectations are high for Shakari Richardson. Her blistering start and impressive performances suggest that this could be the year she secures her first major race victory. With her undeniable talent and the determination to prove herself, Richardson has the potential to leave a lasting impact on the world of athletics. So Shakari Richardson's 2023 season began on a high note with her record-breaking performance at the Miramar Invitational. Her victory in the 100-meter sprint showcased her speed and determination to overcome past setbacks. As the season continues, Richardson's impressive performances and charismatic presence on and off the track make her a force to be reckoned with. With her sights set on major victories, Richardson is poised to leave a lasting legacy in the world of athletics. Rich Arson is a favorite for the U.S. 100m win and the world title in Budapest after her outstanding performances this season.